Next move we're going to show you is called the sweetheart position. This is going to be the starting position for the next five moves we're going to show you. So this is a very important basic move we're going to show you. So in real time it's going to look like this. Now let's slow that down. So hands straight across. Guys, you're taking your left hand, you're spinning the girl counterclockwise, going over her head, flipping your hand, loose hands there. So it's palm to palm and you're bringing it down. So sweetheart position should end up looking like this. Arms crossed in front of you, my right is on top. So again, in real time, it's going to look like this. That's the sweetheart position. Next move we're going to show you is the spin out. So it's in real time, it's going to look like this. Let's slow that down. So to do the spin out, we need to start off in the sweetheart position. You're going to drop the left hand and you're going to spin her out with your right hand. She's going to spin back in into the sweetheart position. Again, she's going to spin back out. This time, you're going to drop your right hand, guys. You're going to stick out your left hand as she continues to make another spin. You're going to hit hands like a high five. You're going to push off so you spin in opposite directions. You're going to hit right hands then. Push off. Do this four times total. Push off again. Left hands. Push off. The fourth time, guys, you're going to grab with your right hand and you're going to go right into a tornado. That's the spin out. One more time, in real time, it's going to look like this. There's the spin out. Next one we're going to do is called the trust fall. If you've ever done the trust fall as like a team building activity, this it's very similar. We're just going to incorporate it into a dance move. So again, we're, in real time, it's going to look like this. Let's slow that down. So trust ball, we're starting off in the sweetheart position. Let go of the left hand. She's going to spin out. As she spins in, you're going to let go of the right hand, and you're basically going to put your forearms in her armpits. And she's going to bend the left leg as she falls back. So guys, you're taking a step back, lowering her to the ground. As you bring her back up, you're going to grab her right hand with your right hand. You're going to spin her clockwise once. Under his arm. And then you're going to go into the tornado. That's the trust ball. One more time in real time. It's going to look like this. That's the trust ball. The next one we're going to do is a small variation of the trust ball. It's called the dip ball. In real time, it's going to look like this. So let's slow down the dip ball. It's going to start with a sweetheart position. Again, you're dropping the left hand and you're going to spin her out with the right hand. This time, as she spins in, guys, you're going to take your left hand and you're going to catch her hand high. Palm to palm. She's going to continue spinning till she's right past your right side. And then she's. So you're hip to hip. Then she's going to bend one leg. You bend your inner legs, so your left leg. And she's going to lean back, and you're going to support her. Now, this time you need to have a good base. So if you need to try to keep her close to your body, and kind of have make sure your feet are apart, like a squatting position almost. And the girl's leg really, it's the right leg that bends and the left leg that stays straight. Mm -hmm. So when we're in that position right here, in the dip ball, you're going to bring her back up, spin her out, and then you're going to go into the tornado. That is the dip ball. So one more time, in real time, 
It's going to look like this. That's the difficult. Next one we're going to do is called the lean to. So you're going to lean on your partner in this one. In real time, it's going to look like this. start in the sweetheart position. You're going to drop the left hand again. You're going to spin her out with the right hand. To your side. Now when she spins in, back to the sweetheart position, you're going to keep your right foot, guys, right where it's planted, and you're going to take a big lunge. So your hips are side to side, and the girl is just going to lean directly on the guy's right hip. So the guy's hip is going to support the girl in this one. You're just going to take a big step with the left foot into a lunge, and she's going to lean on you, and then you're going to spin her out. All right, so really, really fast. In real time, it's going to look like this. Very good. Last one of the sweetheart position moves is going to be the double dip. <clears throat> It's a little tricky. It is four advanced moves. Make sure you really trust your partner and make sure you pay close attention to the details here. And you have dry hands. <laughs> that does help. <laughs> so in real time, it's going to look like this. All right, let's slow that down. The double dip. Again, we're starting in the sweetheart position. Guys, you're going to let go with the left, your left hand, and you're going to spin her out. She's going to spin back in. She's going to continue spinning like one and a half times. You're going to grab this, her right hand with your left hand, and your arm, your whole right arm is going to be behind her back, supporting in the first dip. So the girl's right arm is tucked under his armpit and against his chest. So we're going for the first dip. You're going to bring her back up and now she's going to unspin. So she's going to spin clockwise and then you're going to go down. So I just pivoted on my right foot. And then you're going to lower into another dip. You're going to bring her up and just let go with the right hand and spin her out with the left. So in real time, it's going to look like this. That is the double dip.